All right, in this video, I want to briefly go over to now that we have adjusted our waveforms, now we've adjusted the vertical as well as the horizontal. We've got our trigger set. We've got our measurements on screen, or maybe we're using our cursors. Let's just bring those back. That you can just, you can just simply write the information down. Uh, but if you want to actually include this as part of a lab report or include this in something that you, you know, maybe want to have published, then you need to get an actual screenshot of that. Now you can do the cheesy way of doing it and just use the camera on your phone, uh, but that's not going to look professional. Uh, first off is that you're going to have all the this black background and, and it'll just be a lot of unnecessary ink. Uh, so one of the things that we want to do is we can save the screen uh, as an image. Uh, we can also save the waveform, uh, but also we can set up our the every, all of our setup. So if we want to maintain our particular uh, vertical scale and horizontal scale, uh, maybe we have the, the cursor set up in a certain way, we can save that as well. So later on, uh, if we're doing something like a repetitive measurement, we can just go in and, and select uh, various setups. I'm like, oh, I'm measuring this, I'll use setup one. Uh, but for right now, and uh, there's a shortcut key is save, but we can assign this to either save the image, the waveform, uh, uh, the, the setup, or all three simultaneously. Now, if you expect it to save an image and it saves it as a waveform, you'll get, you'll be able to reproduce it. You can save it as a .csv file. You can reproduce the waveform, but then you're going to lose all the data um, and it's, it's not a, a scope image. So before you start going through and uh, taking measurements and just clicking the save button, um, thinking that you're capturing an image, uh, you want to make sure that that's the case. So one of the things that the default setup button does not do, it does not set it to uh, this button to uh, some kind of default. So you always want to go and go to menu and we want to assign save to image. So we can click this. And so we can assign any of these three or we can assign all three. Uh, you, know, you can make that choice, but I always recommend you make sure that you go at the beginning of the lab to hit your default uh, setup and then make sure you uh, save what you want. So we can save the waveform. It's gonna set up a, a .csv file. This tells you where it's going to save it. I've got a USB flash drive in here. So it goes to there by default. You can set it up internally, uh, but this thing will just gobble up memory and there, it, not a whole lot built into the machine. Uh, so you always want to save it. And plus, you, um, uh, you might save it internally, but then you don't know which uh, particular number scope you're using in the lab. Uh, so always save it to your uh, flash drive. Uh, but I always like to, uh, so if, if you're not too sure which one of these you want, can always go with the, the default all. Saving to the save waveform, I highly recommend you go in, change, uh, make sure you change the destination. You want it, balls. Destination, that would be the multipurpose B knob. We want to save that to uh, an in, uh, a spreadsheet on the flash drive. Now you can, you can save the full resolution. That will be about 50,000 data points. Might be a bit large, so I always recommend you go to uh, a reduced. That's going to be about 6,000 data points. And so now we have it set up. Every time I press the save button, it will actually save. So it's telling you that it's a .csv file. And if you want to change that, you can go back and screen image. And then once I press so we'll just go back to that. And once I press save, it'll rather briefly, so a PNG file. Uh, you can change that if you want a particular one. You can go back to menu, save screen image. You can change the format, uh, .tiff, BMP, PNG. Uh, it doesn't look like it does JPEG. Uh, Ink Saver, I always recommend that you have that on. So if you saw when it, I'll just do it again. So when I press the save button, you'll see that the color changes. The background will be white. So if you need to print it, you're not going to have this big blob of ink. Uh, it's, you know, it basically just saves the amount of ink. So we'll press save. So it does change the colors. Uh, so you want to uh, be cognizant of that. Um, uh, also, another thing that I forgot to mention, I will just throw it in here because I thought of it, is that you can change the label. You can see over here on the side of the vertical scale, 
we have the one, so this is just indicating that there's channel, is, that the yellow is channel one. Uh, often if you have multiple waveforms that you want to, maybe you want to label it. Uh, so you can go in into the channel one, you can go into the label and go through. And so I want to change this to V, let's just call it VN and enter character. I'll replace AI and so you want to you want to keep it to something fairly simple. And there was um, yeah, so there was also a bunch of uh, default ones. So that would be the channel or the multipurpose knob B. So these are all relatively short. So if you've got like a, a you know, so let's say we're measuring I squared C, you can have something as clock, and then the other one is as uh, data. Uh, but you can go through in here and so find some fairly common ones. Uh, but we're just going to go with the VN. So what's nice is that when you when you save the image, that it will also save that label. So whenever you in your uh, lab report, your lab write-up, you can refer to as VN instead of just channel one. All right, the third thing that you can save, and, and this might not be very critical, especially if you're doing lab, it's going to change from one week to the next. Uh, but you can go in, let's see, let's go to the menu. Uh, you can save a setup. So we can just click setup one. That's just a warning that, you know, if you have anything saved in setup one, it's just going to overwrite it, which is what we want to do. We want to press OK. Let's say, uh, let's just change this, change that, turn that off, change the scale. So if I go into recall setup, setup one, and it remembers the setup. So this would be something a little bit more useful if you're doing something fairly repetitive um, or you had your own scope. All right, so those are the three basic uh, things that you can save with the scope. Obviously the first two are most uh, useful for uh, writing up a lab report uh, or uh, collecting data to be published.